Christmas. Hey everyone, I am here with my April favorites and I know I'm a few days behind. I meant to get this video up on April 30th, but what the heck, it's only a few days into May and I cannot believe we are already in May. It just feels like two weekends ago I was celebrating my birthday, which was in March by the way. But seriously, May, before we know it, it's going to be Christmas. I love Christmas. I'm not even gonna make this intro long. I'm so excited to tell you guys about my April favorite. So let's just jump right in. I have two products today for my face. The first one is the Pond's Nourishing Moisturizing Cream. I picked this up at Tar no, Walmart. I'm pretty sure they probably sell it at all drugstores. And this is just a little sample size. It was only a dollar. I absolutely love it. It is for very, for dry to very dry skin. And I have very dry skin. This moisturizer nourished my face. It didn't make it too greasy or oily. It really has helped my skin to not be so dry anymore. I truly, truly recommend this if you have really dry skin. If you're trying to clear up blemishes from like using Proactive or using any other acne clearing scrub that dries your face out, I truly recommend this Pond's Noist moisturizing moisturizing it's nourishing and moisturizing in one the second product I have is the Rimmel London clean finish matte foundation and it is look 100% poreless and I am 120 ivory I always feel like I talk like a twitty tat like 120 I cannot ever talk I really 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 like this foundation I've been using it a lot this April the only thing I don't like about it is the applicator. Now, I might be doing this wrong, but it is just this little stick here. What I do is I use this to actually scoop the foundation out, but it doesn't really get out of the bottle, like when you scoop it. I don't know. I just kind of take whatever's on my stick and take a sponge and wipe it off of the applicator. I'm not a person to really use any other applicator. I do have a beauty blender and I have used my fingers quite a bit, but usually I'm a sponge lover. So I'll take the sponge and swipe it across the applicator. Anywho, I really, really like this product. It does what it says. It does leave you poreless. It covers any of my blemishes. Does what it says. April favorite. I also feel like I've been jumping on the bandwagon. I have recently discovered for myself the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless, see, tongue tied, Simply Ageless Eye Concealer, and I am in 205. This is what it looks like. This is an under eye concealer, and sometimes I use this on my blemishes, but I, I almost thought I got it all over me. I really recommend this. I only have used a little bit, but this is all I've used in April. It really covers up the purple and any other under eye color that you have and it just makes you look awake. Like it really does what it says. The next product is the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Eye Makeup Remover Pads and they come in this cute little package. Um, for your eye, to remove your eye makeup with. They also came in the dollar section with the moisturizer. I found these, I thought it was a cute little package. It's a new brand. I actually have used the Simple Face Wipes before and I wasn't a fan. However, these are eye makeup remover pads and the reason why I got these is because when I jump out of the shower after washing my face, a lot of my mascara or my eyeliner, like liquid eyeliner, doesn't come off all the way. So I like to be using these and they do work really recommend these guys. So although the face products, the face wipes didn't work for me, these eye makeup remover pads have definitely worked. The next product I'm going to show you is kind of a combo. It's my eye shadows that I've been wearing this month. I first start out with the Maybelline Eye Studio in taupe. So these are the colors that I start out with and I actually, um, this is like, I don't know, why do people cover it? I guess it's because it's reflecting. Anyway, this is my highlight. This is my crease. This is my lid, okay? And then I like to get out my Skylark by Ellen Blair Fowler palette. 
and shout out to Nellie who gave it to me for my birthday. I was ecstatic. And I like to use their color Ember for um, the outer crease. I really like those colors together. So again, I use the Maybelline eyeshadow in taupe, and I use the first three colors here and ember. The next product I'm going to show you is actually something I'm really excited about because I struggle all the time to find the right product that works for me. That's why I watch these YouTube videos, because they help. They really do, people. So this is the Mabel, I drop something every single time. Oh, bike riders. You know what? Was that Shauna and Ellie? I don't know. When, no, she's at work. I don't know, it could have been. This is the Maybelline, uh, ugh, let me just hold it correctly, Candace. Expert Wear Brownish Black. I love it. Let me tell you why I love it. I love this product because Okay, so when I first started making this video, my camera was not charged, so I was actually recording the first part of this video on my iPhone. However, that ran out of memory and my camera was charging, but now that it's charged, I'm going to quickly finish filming this video because I ran out of memory on my iPhone, I can't use that, and I'm losing sunlight, and I've been trying to film this video for a week now, and I just really, really, really need to do it. Anyway, I think I left off with my eyeliner. This is the Maybelline Eye Expert Wear in brownish black. I really like this eyeliner because it doesn't, like, melt, basically, on my face. I get kind of teary-eyed in my tear ducts in the corner a lot, and it doesn't end up drooping or having eyeliner, like, halfway down my eye. So I really like the Maybelline Expert Wear, but I also like Bonnie Bell's eyeliner in Basic Black. And I like this because it does also not smear, really. It also doesn't smear. I had been looking for another eyeliner to use, and I came across Bonnie Bell's line, and I've been really happy with this. So this actually has been a favorite black liner of mine. I would recommend both of these eyeliners. The next product is my CoverGirl Insta Cheeks in Sophisticated Sable. I actually used just a big brush, a big blush brush, and brush all over every color in here, and I just brush it across my cheeks. I actually have it right now. It's been worn. I've been at work all day, but I really like this blush. It's perfect for summertime, tan skin. It even is a great bronzer, too, if you are kind of fair and looking for something that's not quite as harsh. I really, really like this blush. Moving on to hair, I'm going to put my Tangle Me Free Detangle Shield by Nuema. I don't even know how to say the name still, but this was in last month's favorite and I had to put it in this month's favorite because it truly detangles my hair and it smells so, so good. I'm definitely, I haven't run out, but I'm definitely going to be purchasing this in the bigger bottle and I still don't remember the name of the store that I found it in, but it was in the Annapolis Mall and they sell hair products. That can tell you a lot. So I recently took a trip back to my college town in Huntington, West Virginia, and I stayed with a friend. I didn't have any plans, I was just going to hang out and see everyone, so I really didn't know when the next time I would shower would be, and I forgot my dry shampoo. My friend actually told me, shout out Jessica, told me that baby powder is something that you can use in place of dry shampoo, and this is what she used on her hair when she got up in the morning and needed a dry shampoo or needed to put this on her hair. I tried it out and it really worked and it also volumized my hair. Threw it back in a headband or just let it down. Um, I would recommend not putting this on your hairbrush first and then brushing it in. I would recommend just squeezing little bits and pieces into your part because I made that mistake. I like poured it into my hairbrush and just was like whoop. It turned my hair white. like. Not white, I just had to brush it out, but great, 
cheaper version of dry shampoo. The last hair product is my Rusk Internal Restruction Weightless and it is Shaping Control Mist. I think I filmed this in a haul before. I really like this product. It is something that you can spray on your hair wet or dry and it will hold the shape of whatever style you are making your hair. For example, I like to curl my hair a lot and not use hairspray just because it weighs my hair down but my hair does not hold curl so I have to use something and this has really been able to hold my curl and really just be able to have the look that I want to look if that makes sense. Moving on to lips, I also showed this in a haul. Actually, I don't know if I showed this in a haul. Last fall, I got this at Lush. It is the, um, I have the lip scrub in bubblegum. It smells so good. And I actually, oh, bubblegum. I, I actually keep this in the shower with me and anytime that I'm in the shower, every so often, I will just take my finger in and use the lip scrub in the shower because then I don't have anything getting all over the sink. Moving on to nails, I have shown this uh, in one of my videos last year, I forget, but it's the True Blue Spa in Sugar. It's the 60 second manicure hair and scrub. And this is actually from Bath and Body Works, but I also keep this, got something in my eyeball. I also keep this in the shower and every so often I'll just unscrew it, waiting for the conditioner con to stay in my hair for a few minutes and I'll just put a little bit on my hands and give myself a little 60 second manicure in the shower. My favorite nail polish in April has been the L'Oreal Royalty Reinvented and it is this purple lip, lip gloss, this purple nail polish and it's what I have on my nails right now. It's a really pretty purple. I love it. This is this is obviously chipped, so I should show you this hand, but this is what it is. It's really pretty. I've been loving this this April. The last product I'm going to show you is a product that I purchased in the middle of April, but it is the Copper Tone Sunless Tanning Gradual Tan Moisturizing Lotion for a flawless, natural-looking tan you can control. And it comes in this bottle, and I think I purchased it at Walmart. I love this self-tanner. It doesn't make you smell like self-tanner at all. I would put this on in the morning and be able to go to work with it and not have to worry about me smelling. No, I'm good to go with this. It doesn't leave any streak marks. It's very, very, very gradual. Very gradual. You would have to put this on maybe about mm, three or four, maybe five times even to get the color that you want. But see, I like that. And if you like that, this is the suntan lotion for you. Um, suntan lotion. Tanning lotion. This is the tanning lotion. I don't need Sunless tanning lotion. So that is all of my April favorites. I hope to get this video up and loaded and edited soon for you all. Um, let me know in the comments if you tried any of these products and I will be sure to comment back. I love commenting back and talking to you guys. Um, I don't know if I said it in the beginning, but I got my hair cut and I love it. I've had it this short before. I think I mentioned that. I don't know if I mentioned that because I had, I took like a two hour break and then came back to finish filming this video. Ugh. Anyway, follow me on Instagram. I have the same username, MK Candace. Again, follow me on Twitter, same username. Thanks for watching, guys. I really enjoy um, reading your comments and reading your messages. A few of you guys have messaged me, and I've been able to message back. So feel free to come and talk to me. I love talking to you guys, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!